I wanted to feel free not to have the white gaze in this place that was so precious to me, which is the work. And you will maintain this safe place for yourself, for your art? You don't think you will ever change and write books that incorporate white, white lives into them substantially? I have done. Mm. In, In a substantial paradise. way? You can't understand how powerfully racist that question is, can you? Because you could never ask a white author, when are you going to write about black people? Whether he did or not. Or she did or not. Mm. Even the inquiry comes from a position of being in the center. And being used to being in the center. And being used to being in the center. Mm. And saying, you know, is it ever possible that you will enter the mainstream? It's inconceivable that where I already am is the mainstream. Hey everyone, it's Ashley Ray from Let's Talk Racestyles.com and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the late, great Toni Morrison. If you did not know, um, on August 5th, Toni Morrison passed away at the age of 88 years old. She is an iconic figure in the Black community um, and Black culture and specifically Black writing. So um, here we go. Her birth name is actually Chloe Wolford, W-O-F-F-O-R-D, and she was a novelist, an essayist, um, an editor, a teacher, and a professor, as well as a mom, and at one time, a wife. She divorced in the early 60s, but she had two kids from that marriage. Uh, she's written a total of 11 novels, and um, the first one that she presented to the world is called The Bluest Eye. Her writing is known for telling the story of Black lives in America, um, things that we encounter, how we navigate through, you know, a world of racism and the lack of um, advantages or opportunities that are presented to us. She was the first Black editor I'm sorry, she was the first black female editor of fiction at Random House, uh, which is in New York City. And she earned that title in the 60s, which is pretty freaking amazing. She's won the Nobel Prize of Literature in 1993. She was also awarded uh, the National Book Critics Circle Award in 1996. President Obama gave her the Presidential Medal of Freedom in, I believe, 2005. And she is not a stranger to the New York's bestseller list, as well as her books frequently being on Oprah's book club or books of the week. So <clears throat> those are some things um, about Miss Toni Morrison. So what I am most familiar with um, with regarding her well two novels that I've actually read Tar Baby and Beloved and actually Beloved was made into a movie that stars Oprah ironically enough but Toni Morrison single-handedly revived the life the history and the writing of Zora Neale Hurston and I am forever grateful of that. Zora Neale Hurston basically died begging her publishers to publish her last book. She died poor and begging her publishers to publish her last book and a lot of people overlook her work because most of her work fo focused on the South and as we know um, the language is different in the South as far as accents and um, I don't want to say jargon, but I'll say jargon, slang, etc. And a lot of her work has gone unnoticed. And Toni Morrison didn't want that to happen. She wanted her legacy to continue. She wanted scholars to go back and read Zora Neale Hurston's work to try to get a better understanding and to see how amazing it actually was for that time and even in current times. I know that there are Black authors, writers, journalists, um, actors, actresses, directors, 
you name it, who will speak of Toni Morrison, speak of her work, and they will never let it die just like she didn't let Zora Neale Hurston's work or name die. All right, that's all that I have for you on Toni Morrison. And if you'd like to rewatch that clip that I've posted of her, you can just go back to the beginning of this video. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Smooches.